Be careful! You frog! Fuck him up! Yeah! It uses to fight! No one will leave here alive! Stupid frog, it's time you jumped off this mortal coil! To form change! Ominous! Oh my god! It's. a mutant turtle! Reverts to Yaka. Yakra. Well, let's fuck him up. He should have some pretty decent HP as well. Slash! He has 920 HP! He does that whenever you hit him with a pre with a powerful attack. It is a counter attack, I guess. So yeah, let's see. At the start of the fight, alternate between the use of dual tech fire whirl with X strike, and use ethers when necessary. When Chrono is executing a dual tech with one character, have the other attack normally. The boss encounter the boss counters with an attack that damages all enemies. He's a pain in the butt, but easy enough to finish off without too much effort. Like I said, he's pretty freaking easy, uh, but he does have a good amount of HP, 920. But we should be fine. Now let's make sure everything's fine. Especially considering I have obscene amount of HP, or uh, obscene, obscene amount of uh, not tonics. Needle spin, Yakko's needle attack. Ash deal. Let's do attack. Shouldn't let Frog heal himself. Oh well. Draw. Yeah, we should be fine for now. Actually, we might have everyone heal themselves. Come on. Frog! And, oop! Oh, look up! Yourself! Thing's about to do the needle attack again! Slash! Draw! <laughs> this fucking attack! It's so weird! Alright, Chrono and Luca! Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Cute. Cute. You think you? No, oh, you think you're a threat. All right, slurp Luca. Oh, uh, slurp, uh, slurp Chrono. Sounds dirty. No, never mind. I won. <laughs> All right then. Fifty experience. Really? Fifty experience points. Come more from your henchman, motherfucker. That's bullshit. You came to our rescue. Thank you, Frog. The king awaits. Let let us return to the castle. I thank the Chrono and Luca. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us. Of course. This. Now that chest doesn't have an item in it. You can open it for, to um, find out what's inside of it, or you can just leave and find out what's inside of it in a, a more humorous way. Let's return to the castle. Wait, what about me? He was in the chest. <laughs> you can open the chest and let him out, but I love I love just letting him sit there. It's funny. You had me worried, Len. And no good, Yakra. Impersonating me, kidnapping the Queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. I failed to protect Queen Len. I have to disgrace me. Frog!
Okay. Now we're gonna see how Meryl's doing. This is where the bootstrap principle comes into uh, comes into play, by the way. Um, originally, Lynn was saved, which brought about Meryl's generation, which brought her back, to which allowed her to be born. However, since we didn't save her, she was destroyed. But we turned out to be the ones that saved Queen Lynn in order to guarantee Queen, uh, Princess Meryl's uh, uh, birth. So yeah, that's the bootstrap part. And there she is! Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia! Chrono! It was awful. I can't recall it all. I was somewhere cold, dark, and lonely. Is that what it's like to die? Welcome back, Princess Nadia. You wish left for me too? Princess Nadia? Uh oh. I guess you guys figured it out, huh? Sorry, Chrono, I didn't mean to deceive you. I'm Princess Nadia. My father is King Garudia the 33rd. I really enjoyed being with you at, at the fair, but if you know my identity, Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me. You would have. Uh, you wouldn't have shown me around the fair, right? Wrong. Oh, Chrono, that's why I like you. The real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Grono. Yeah. Alright, I want to check out her texts. I don't remember what they are. Aura! Oh! I actually can use that as a uh, combo tech with uh, Chrono. Does a uh, Aura Whirl, I believe, which is a AOE or version of Aura. Alright. So I have to get that. It's really good. Not yet. There we go. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, frog. It was a fault of mine which endangered the queen. I should depart for good. Eek! <laughs> Indeed, your resemblance to the queen is uncanny. Chrono, you have the potential to be a good swordsman. He sort of hops away. Froggy, you weren't such a bad guy either. Ah, let's get the out of here and go back to the future. I'm, I'm assuming Luca has a way of doing it. Alright then, all we do is go back to where, uh, where we left off. This is the area I told you about that has the good uh, EXP because the little balls count of enemies as well. So you gain 6 EXP for killing all three of these guys. Nice to get rid of those guys. Boop, boop. Boom. And fire. And there we go. You also get 100, 160, I think it was, or 120 gold, which is it, it accumulates after a while, as you can tell. But yeah, this little guy, he never goes away. You just keep getting shelters there. There we go. Want to get these three guys to pop out? Which should give me enough to get Meryl's uh, aura ability, I believe. Anyway, now, come on, let's kick these guys' ass. Not do it. There we go. Nice. Aura world. Like I thought. So yeah, aura is like a slurp. Does a single heal for one character, but aura world is an AOE variant. It is the combo of cyclone and aura. So make sure to get it, and it will heal everyone in your party. Which is just, just great. I was thinking about uh, healing, but meh, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm gonna let those kids, I'm gonna let those uh, imps play with their ball. 
All right, then. Ooh, you're a different color one. You're a brown one. Interesting. More EXP? It's 99. Wow. Your HP is pretty high for our enemy at this level. All right. Let's see what uh, Aura looks like. I'm gonna do Oral World then. Might as well. Come on, hurry up. There we go. God, that's trippy. But like I said, it's a good healing spell. Takes a bit of MP to use, but meh, it's worth it. What's our next technique? Now, we're, now, since we're on the subject. Come on. Revoke at 43. Well, oh, fuck that noise. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. There's no more music. Kind of uh, ominous. What's this? How do we get home? Your Highness, er, Princess, we... Please call me Meryl. Well then, Meryl, observe! Wow! Look at you're amazing! Ain't <laughs> the truth. Oh, uh, I mean... Done with the false monsters, you have a real gift. I'll trade my royal ancestry for your genius in a heartbeat. So as a fun side note, we technically do not have an idea of how long uh, Luca worked on that key. At least I, I don't think we do. Because, well, it's time travel. She could have been working on that for months on the other side and come back right after uh, we uh, went through. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call this thing a gate. It's a kind of portal that takes you to some location in a different era. It's a very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. But why did the gate suddenly appear? Either my telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. It's getting pretty weird. Let's at least head back to our own time. Alright, coming right now. Use. Dr. Uthine! Ah, and are back to the present! Hey, the music! Whew, we're back! Come on, Luca, why don't you come home to me- come up with me to the castle? I'd like to have you over for dinner! Sorry for putting you through all that, Meryl. Are you joking? That was the most fun I've had in months! And I have some new friends, too! Aww. Crap up you gentlemen and take her home. Oh, I'll do more than that. <laughs> I've got some work to do. See you soon, Luca! That sure how to sheath a sword. Will you scrub me home, Chrono? Nah. I'll work to you then. Don't pass all this. Like I said earlier in the last set, uh, be sure to collect enough silver points to uh, win the last mini game in uh, Beckelstein's laboratory over here. Um, we'll need to do it eventually, and we'll do it off screen later on. But uh, yeah, make sure you do it. Myself and Mac, you are the swordsman. Sure, what do you got, buddy? I should have nothing to get the load sword, which I really, really want. I do. Wunderbar. Look at that, 27 to 35. Theoretically, you could buy it, or you could get it before you even go into the pass, but you need to spend a lot of time getting money. Okay, then. Let's sell what we don't need. Don't need the Iron Blade anymore. Need the, well, I can use a Karate Key. Don't need the Bronze Edge. Don't need Steel Saber. Alright.
Sure. No! Dumb motherfucker, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna bail her, pre her precious necklace. It's probably an heirloom from her mother. There you go, strategy. Oh, fine, no, anyway. <laughs> we have that uh, Naga Brotem, by the way. Naga Ante Broman. Uh, we can't see it in our inventory. It's one of those uh, hidden items you have in your inventory. Uh, we use it later on for a trade at some point in time. Not exactly sure when. But, uh, it's useful. Let's organize. Okay, then. Ah, it's nice to be back in our own time. Does the market have anything, uh, <laughs> of worth? Probably not, but we'll see. Hey, buddy. Lane's not the pier again? Not Fritz. Where could he be? Oh, hello. What can I do for you? Well, I'll see what you got for sale, buddy. Uh huh? Ooh, nice. Let's do that. Bronze mail. Maiden suit. And a bronze helm. Bronze mail. Bronze bow. Bronze helm. Maiden suit. Well, I can't equip things to, uh, Luca because she's not in our party. Alright, so, so we don't need. That, that, that. I sold the ex actually sold the bronze helm, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Now yeah, let's go ahead and restock our tonics. At this point, um, this is my theory about, by the way, about buying a shit ton of healing potions at the beginning of the game. Save up to the max, so you can buy max potions as early as you can. Because after that point, it's literally just upkeep afterwards. It's a lot easier than going, eh, I'm just going to buy 10 now and possibly run out. That's always been my uh, motto with that. Alright, we good? You're welcome, buddy. So much nicer than your ancestor. He was a dick. Alright, let's do a quick save out here. Which I'm actually going to use uh, later while I'm off screen. I'll explain later why I'm not saving the same file. Here we go. We're back! That was a crappy, crappy dinosaur movie. God. Alright, come on, let's go! Yeah, see what I mean by the way? The cathedral's gone. You can't go there and get the other items. That's why I took all the stuff that was there. Unless I'm 100% certain I'm not going to need the stuff there, I'm going to go ahead and get it later. Alright, let's do onwards. Go you. From there. A new enemy with a bell. Bugs. Ugh, bugs. Oh well. I have a lot of weapons that can just fuck you guys up now. <laughs> Alright, do that, and that. Kill a beetle! The load sword. Fuck you! And my iron crossbow. <laughs> Which hurts like a motherfucker. Love it. Alright, we good? Flip the mid-air mid -air freeze frame jump. Let's just... Oh, damn it! You actually can walk through those two, the bottom, the bottom right one, the top one, and I uh, get past them. I fucked that up. There we go. It's okay. What's name? Slash. Yeah, <laughs> that was beautiful. I love it. I love, I love attack uh, options like that. It's really cool. Fuck you. Alright then, let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Alright, this is gonna be my, my save point. But a little later on. Which I'll get into again, like I said, in a little bit. 
Alright, let's go in. Let's go out mail back to her impressive home. Hmm. I like my little shack though. My little house with mum. Hey guys, this is Nadia. Oh, the Chancellor. All right, where have you been? I heard you were abducted. Abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Scoundrel, you're the one, huh? Kidnapping Princess Nadia. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. First and foremost, if I kidnapped her, why the fuck am I returning her back to her house? Back to the castle? Seriously, dude. You gotta think this through. No! Kronos! Admit it! You confused her and, ta and tried to take over the throne. Terrorists! Stop it! No! I didn't do it! Stop this at once! This is the princess! What are you doing? The princess Nadia said to... Idiots! Detain him! Chrono! Yo! Dick! So... Due to our meddling in the past, the Kino Grudia now has a trial system to pe prevent stuff like this from happening. Like the Chancellor said back then. That's what's going on right now. I am the Chancellor, the Prosecutor. I'm the lawyer, Pierre. Members of the court, we now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with, with abducting the Princess Nadia. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps? Hang him upside down for a few years. That'd kill me. Or shall we employ the guillotine? You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now, let us begin. Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. That's good, I don't talk. Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. Question is, did, we, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? Alright. So basically we have a series of uh, questions and answers that we can do, depending on what we did. Uh, basically we can, be, we can be convicted guilty or innocent depending on our actions in the last set. So, yeah. So basically when you say, who started this whole mess? I did. Just as I suspected, the defendant deliberately tried to get near the princess. Which we did, we ran into her, by accident. Hey! Ouch, that hurt! The princess then instantly followed you to Luca's little sideshow. Whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. And that facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Objection! There can't be any relevance whatsoever to this case. Can't respond, Chancellor? Crow's character is at the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. We have witnessed a little girl who will vouch for the character of the defendant. So basically, Crow can be guilty if he deliberately bumps into uh, Meryl, took the pendant before uh, checking on Meryl, stole the lunch from the elderly man, tried to persuade Meryl into selling her pendant, didn't return the key to the little girl, and didn't wait for Meryl to finish buying candy. Is this if he did, the, if did everything else? If he's, uh, did the opposite of those. Which is what we did. This nice man, he brought me my kitty. Thank you for being so kind. You're welcome, little girl. How about that? Does this young man deserve a medal for returning a cat? Phew, you like to buying it. Buying what? I didn't do shit. This should hear his motive. Was there any motive for the fine, this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. What about Ransom? Chrono, 
Did her fortune, her fortune did tempt you, did it not? No, not at all. Are you sure? You weren't, uh, you really weren't tempted? Not at all. That's enough, I have no more questions. It's evident that, uh, it's evident that my client is a fine, noble young man. Your honor, the defense rests. There was a jury. If he is guilty, stand to the left. If he isn't, stand to the right. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Damn. Not guilty. Wow, I convinced them. Not guilty. Wow. I don't think I've ever had this many people. The entire court is unanimous. Order in the court. The verdict has been reached. The verdict is not guilty. But the fact remains that even if he did not kidnap her, he ran off with her. We didn't saw Derek and find as punishment. That's fair. We did. We did run away with royalty. Take him away. Now, just a darn minute, Prince Princess. That's enough, my dear. But father, all I asked was for you to behave like a princess. Well, fuck you too. Even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to Chancellor and forget what uh, about the events in town. We're leaving. You're a dick, dude. Chrono! Here my solitary confinement. What? The terrorist has tried. Has tried to overthrow our king. Oh gods! He has been found guilty. You must. He now must carry out his sentence. So this is the monster who kidnapped the princess. The execution is in three days. Is three days away. Do not let him out of your sight. Execution? Strange. But I don't recall hearing anything about an execution. What? How dare you question me? Paperwork followed is held up in the system. Understood, sir. Guards! You corrupt little bastard! Take the prisoner away. So even though we were found guilt we were found non guilty, and we we're supposed to be here for non we we're supposed to be put away for solitary confinement for three days, he's gonna have us executed anyway. Motherfucker. And here we are! And this is where we're going to end today's set. We are going to, uh, basically, you know, I'm going to let you guys uh, decide what's going to happen. I'll explain to, uh, next week the options we have. Now, I'm actually going to run around off screen with this save file so I can get some more EXP from Meryl and then come back here, um, <laughs> come back here and, um, continue the set from there. So basically, I'm going to get Meryl's next tech. Anyway, um,. I hope you guys enjoyed the set. We saved the princess, and we're being killed for it. Lovely. I'll see you guys next week, and we'll find out how Chrono gets out of this one. Till then, have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Hello, and thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this Let's Play, feel free to click one of the two links to take you to a new Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.